G'day Church, I uh, hope you're all doing well uh, and uh, yeah, coping with your particular expression of uh, isolation. Uh, I just thought uh, that it might be nice to have a kind of a weekly, midweek little update or in word of encouragement uh, that we can tune into um, throughout the week uh, in between Sundays. And uh, so I thought I'd kick us off this week uh, with one that uh, just came to my mind uh, and heart over the past week or so. Uh, obviously it's been several weeks now since uh, any churches have been gathering and uh, several pastors up on the coast have been keeping in contact with one another just uh, being aware of how we're all adjusting to the new normal and uh, many of us are start of, sort of starting to I guess come to grips with the thought that it may be many many months before we can get back together and actually uh, worship as normal in our larger group churches uh, now, some of you may not be all that bothered by that thought. Perhaps some of you are actually enjoying your Sunday mornings more than the normal. Uh, but for many of us, it does actually bring a level of grief and sadness. Uh, the thought that we won't be able to gather together uh, as a church family for potentially a long time yet. And we're wondering in some ways how long this is going to go on for. Well, there's a psalm in the Old Testament, uh, Psalm 42, where someone is feeling the same thing. Uh, while we're cut off from church because of a pandemic, this psalmist is cut off from his church because of exile. Uh, what's happened is that the people of Israel have been turfed out uh, from Jerusalem. Uh, the Babylonian Empire has come in and destroyed the temple uh, and carted them off into exile. And uh, like us, the place where they have gathered uh, to worship with other believers lies in ruins and they've been cut off uh, and it's now inaccessible. And for the Old Testament Jews, separation from the temple meant separation from God. Uh, and so there's nothing for the psalmist to do other than lament. Have a listen and picture it in your mind, is Psalm 42. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O Lord. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while men say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I used to go with the multitude, leading the procession to the house of God with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive throng. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Saviour and my God. The psalmist is, is crying out, just like a deer who wanders through the dry wilderness pants for the life source of water. This psalmist is desperate to be able to go to the temple to reconnect with God, his own life source. And the best he can do in this moment of lament, the best he can do is tell himself, put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him. He's, he's holding out hope that at some point in the future, he doesn't know when or even if, but he's holding out hope that he will be able to get back to the temple and gather with others in order to praise God. Up till then though, he's suffering the pain of separation from God. Now this is the word of encouragement for us as a church. Thankfully, this is not our story. You see, the wonderful truth for us is that because of Jesus, we don't have to go to church to experience the presence and power of God. The Holy Spirit lives in our hearts. So our worship of God is not limited to a place or a worship center. Therefore, we have no need to lament or grieve the way this psalmist does. Now, yes, there are important reasons that we gather together. And I'm looking forward to the day when we do get back together and lift our voices in praise of God as a, as a large group. That's going to be a great day and I do miss that terribly. But the truth is Jesus is with us 
even when we're on our own or when we can't get to church. And there is no reason our praise of Him should be any less joyous or energetic than when we're together. So I'd like to encourage you today to offer your praises to God, whether you're at home by yourself, whether you're gathering with your family, uh, just offer your praises to God. In fact, I'd like to give you the opportunity now, if you're watching this, if there's something that you'd like to praise God for, just pop it in the comments below. Let's encourage one another by praising God. Write something down. It might be small, it might be big, it might be for you, it might be for our world. Just express your praise to God. Thank Him that perhaps you don't even need to be at church in order to be church and to experience His presence. Express your praise to God knowing that you can do so anywhere, anytime because of Jesus. Note it in the comments below and let's encourage one another. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Uh, take care. God bless.